Before we get into today's video, I do wanna let you guys know that this video is for entertainment purposes only. Please remember to be kind to everybody everywhere in your everyday life, in your home, in the grocery store, and especially in the comment section down below. Please do not show hate to anybody anywhere. Good morning, my lovelies, my beauties, my friends. My name is Christina and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will subscribe, stick around, take a chance and hearing some things that I have to say. And if you are a returning subscriber, y'all already know, y'all are my babies. So good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing today? I hope you all are having an amazing day. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. I did want to remind you guys, if you are watching this in real time, that this is Teacher Appreciation Week <laughs> 2021. Yay! So you guys, and I'm telling you this because sometimes we don't know or we forget, and it is very important to let our teachers know that we appreciate them, whether it is your kids teacher at school, your teacher in college, your Taekwondo teacher, whatever. Make sure to make this world a better place and hug a teacher. Wait a minute. Are we allowed to hug yet? We're still not allowed to hug yet. Let your teachers know that you appreciate them or your kids teacher. So y'all, this video, I know y'all have heard about this. I know you guys have heard about this. So if you guys have not heard about the whole Josh Duggar situation, Josh Duggar was part of the TLC TV show, 17 and Counting. And honey, when I tell y'all, my mother-in-law used to watch this. She can probably tell you guys all of those kids' names. And it's very hard to, 17 children. I don't even think the parents know their doggum names at this point. And they're all, they all start with a J, which, you know, all mine start with a J too, but you know, whatever. <laughs> 17 and Counting was a show on TLC and it was a really big deal. I mean, it went on for a, it went on for years and I watched a few episodes of it, but you know, it was it was interesting just when you see this mother and this father who have had 17 children, honey, and it's and counting cuz it's still counting. Like she was still like what a woman. You know what I mean? Like holy cow. Nevertheless, it was on it was on TLC and then some of the kids actually got their own little spin-off shows too as the kids became adults. The show ended up being canceled because of allegations against the oldest Duggar child, although he was not a child at this point. And the oldest, the eldest name is Josh Duggar. Now, Josh his parents that had this kid 17 and counting is Michelle and Jim Bob Duggar. But Josh Duggar had some allegations come out against him that he had touched some younger girls inappropriately back whenever he was about 14 years old. Now, five girls came forward and said that he had touched them inappropriately. Four of them were his sisters, okay? And they actually came out and did some interviews that were very emotional, saying, you know, how hard it was and things that they had went through. And... It was a ton of controversy around it. One, because a lot of people felt like the father, Jim Bob, just kind of swept it under the rug and didn't really want, you know, kind of chucked it up as like, you know, yes, it's horrible. Yes, they sh he shouldn't have done it, but they were kids and da, 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 da. And that was it. Now, it was also said that the daughters allegedly were kind of upset with their dad about it and felt like that he didn't really validate their feelings. And then, you know, you had the four kids and then the other one. Now, Josh himself came out and gave an apology. He admitted that he had did it, that he had inappropriately touched his sisters and this other young girl when they were kids, but he was never prosecuted because of the statute of limitations was already up by the time all of this news or the allegations came out. So Josh released his statement, the show was canceled, and that was the end of that. Later on, Josh Duggar had some more scandals because do you guys remember the whole Ashley Madison thing? Well, Josh grew up and got married to another young lady and then they started having kids themselves and kind of following in their parents' footsteps by having multiple children and living a very religious life. Josh Duggar was even like preaching at this point and being a, a spokesperson for family values and being, you know, this, having this perfect like image of a family where you've got the husband and the wife and they go to church and they do all this stuff and they have all these kids and like that whole thing. 
Ashley Madison back then was basically like an online hookup website, but it was a secret website. It was mainly geared towards married people that wanted to cheat and it would be a secret. So you'd have women or men that would go on there and would go out on dates with married men or women and understand that it was a mutual agreement between the two that you didn't say anything, but you were going to get paid. It was that type of thing. Well, for whatever reason, some ways, somebody done made somebody mad. Okay. Somebody made somebody mad and the list of people that were on that Ashley Madison website was released to the public and Josh Duggar's name was on it. So it was a huge scandal because now you got this man who done already been in trouble in the early 2000s in this scandal, got his family show canceled and all that. And in all honesty, they pro that family probably had so many more secrets than that. I mean, every family has things that are private that goes on that they don't want the world to know about, right? Or, you know, whatever. You protect your kids. You don't, like me, I'm not going to get up here and tell you guys about every little thing that my children do. That's my kids, you know, that's their privacy. That's them. You can only imagine. With 17 children, baby, they probably got all kinds of stuff that we'll never know about. Nevertheless, so, so you've already had this little scandal. Now you got, you know, now he's trying to redeem himself. He's being this preacher guy. He's got his family, he's being the poster child for a man that's changed. And now it comes out that he's basically cheating on his wife. So there was a few other little rumors and scandals that had come out about him. But recently, the FBI have had their eyes on him. And let me tell you guys something right now. The FBI is not going to get involved with anything unless it's one, something serious, and two, they're going to have the evidence to pursue it. Okay, the FBI don't play around. They're not coming after you guys for a little dime back of weed, honey. They don't care about that. They leave that to the police. Okay, when the FBI gets involved, it's something for real. Okay, and they have a 95% conviction rate. So just to let y'all know to preface that before I tell y'all what we're about to talk about. A few days ago, week or so ago, I see on Facebook that Josh Duggar had been arrested, been being investigated by the FBI, and it, ha it had not been released yet what he was arrested for, but that he couldn't be around children. So I screenshotted it. I sent it to my mother-in-law because we're going to talk about it because that's just what it is. She's my best friend. And I was telling her, like, I guarantee you it's got something to do with children. One, if he can't be around children. Two, it's going to be serious if the FBI is involved. There... They're not playing. The next day or a couple days later, it comes out that he was found to be downloading child, literally the most disgusting thing in the world. Like there are no words to describe what I feel when I think about a person that looks at that stuff or the people that make that stuff. Like if you knew what has to happen for that kind of thing to be made and for somebody to be looking. Anyways, they got him for downloading child that of peop, young girls or boys under the age of 12. And this is a man that is, by the way, had just announced that him and his wife were about to have their seventh kid. So this is a man that's around children all the time. And you think about that, like the people that went to church with him, like every time he hugged their kid, like you're thinking like, I lock him up, lock him, anybody that's got anything to do with anything. And let me tell you with the FBI too, honey, they're not arresting him because of one little thing that he may have accidentally downloaded. They got some stuff. He's nasty. If this is all true, I have to say this for legal reasons. Allegedly, if this is all true and it comes out, he did that lock him up. And, and in all honesty, his wife needs to thank God that the Lord has protected her family from this man because he's obviously a very, very, very sick person who has had issues since he was younger. Like, I don't know the full story of what all happened whenever he was younger and the situations with his sisters and stuff. Like, as a mother, I have questions. I have questions of where did you learn these types of things? And now here we are with this whole child. So he is, he's, he's got issues, dude. Like, I don't know. Anybody that, that has anything to do with any... If you even, people that are watching this right now, if you even, even if you don't download that stuff, look forward to whatever, if you even have the desire, sick, 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 sick. So that is where he's at now, locked up in a federal jail somewhere, gonna be going to trial. He entered a plea of not guilty 
But honey, the FBI has got a 95% conviction rate and they're not even going to waste their time, especially with a high profile person like Josh Duggar, who is going to be in the media. They're not going to embarrass themselves. They're not going to make their name look bad. They're not going to do any of that unless they've got what they need to convict him. And so they got it. So in my personal opinion, he, he's guilty already. In my personal opinion. I know it's supposed to be innocent until proven guilty, but, and I'm not saying the FBI don't ever get it wrong. Don't get me wrong. I know that they do sometimes. That's why it's 95%. It's not 100%, but there's a track record with this guy, you know, and, you know, the Ashley Madison thing, if he's, if that's, that's your business, that, that, that is, that is your business. I mean, it is one thing if your whole entire brand is to sell a perfect marriage to the public. Okay. That I can understand why the public would be upset about that, but this other stuff, I'm going to follow this case. What do you guys think? Do you think he's guilty? Do you think He's going down the road. You think, because I'm going to tell you something, the FBI, the federal government, they don't care if you're a high profile person. They're going to lock you up right there with the rest of them. High profile, low prof profile. You're going to be right there in the cell with the, the people that traffic across different states. Honey, they do not care. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, my loves, please do not forget to like this video. It's a free way that you can help your girl out. And until next time, I love you guys so, so, so very much. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. It's Mother's Day on Sunday. You guys, don't forget. Mother's Day. Love you guys. See y'all Friday. Bye. We all